Okay. Then, as you move into the, the 80s and the economic downturn, um, there's a tradition in Guyanese music, particularly out of the African heritage, which is the praise song and the blame song. So if Guy Mind was an example of the praise song, here is Rebel, the past master of the blame song. This song is But he always brought second because he always would sing about that. Now, as we got on to the end of the, uh, the 20th century, to me, one of the interesting examples of not only inter, uh, you know, encounter, interaction, but of exchange was Chutney Gospel. And just let me give you this little piece before I. Them say we have a drink rum. But that is not right Cause every time I drink rum I beat up my wife But now I am redeemed by the blood of the Christ He's stepping very early and he's shitting out my life Let's carry on me drink rum but that is not right Cause every time I drink rum I beat up my wife But now I am redeemed by the blood of the Christ Step in very early, I'm sitting out my life. Mommy, wake up early, make breakfast to eat. Daddy, get up moving, but moving lazy. Hey, 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 hey. Mommy. So, th this is analyzes, and, and this is at a very interesting juncture because there are concerns about the hyper evangelizing of the Indo Guyanese population, the decline of Hinduism. And you know, this is a very uh, interesting um, moment. And, well, I could pass that one, right? Let me watch me. So what do we, what have we found? What have I found in, uh, in this? The consequences of the, of governance, of government involvement in, with music, it has been an important tool in the development process. It's been a, it's a lot of investment, national cultural center, that kind of stuff. The consequences are found at 
at the macro level, at the community level, and at the individual level. At the macro social level, music has helped to give Guyana a sense of identity. The steel band diplomacy of the Chronicle Atlantic Symphony, the diaspora musicians overseas, the work of Dave Martin that, you know, is, um, that is, he never hides his Guyanese-ness, Eddie Grant's work on the, uh, on the world stage, the macro level it has given Guyanese a sense of identity. You know, music, you could brand yourself with that. You may not like it, all of it, but it, it has that kind of um, consequence. At the macro level, it has been a document, a, rec a record of our life, our aspirations, our hopes, our frustrations, and our goals. At the community level, music has given community pride. When Balgangador Tilak from um, Port Moran took Georgetown by storm in the 1940s as a musician, this gave uh, Port Moran pride. When the Mutu brothers from New Amsterdam um, took um, their music to Trinidad and transformed Trinidad to Calypso music, it gave New Amsterdam and by extension Guyanese um, wider pride. At the individual uh, level, um, music uh, has given people senses of identity. Classic example of that, my wife um, got a scholarship uh, from the government of Diana to study music. Um, came back and she worked with the Mass Game Secretary, which is another um, product of the 1970s. Um, what are the next steps? What are the next steps? If you've gone through a developmental model that has said, okay, you develop for export or the enrichment of others, or you develop to, to go industrial, or you develop to become modern, or you develop to develop self-reliance. Today, I think the development discourse is about civic participation. How do you engage the wider population in the processes of a governance? This is the larger question. Now, what role will music play in that? Will music tell or speak to aspirations? Will music speak to hopes? Will music speak to frustrations? I don't know. It's, it, it, it's, in, your, it's in your hands. There's a new school of music, and let's hope there's community participation in that so that out of that, they could build on the, the shoulders of those music teachers, those institutions like the British Ghana Militia Band, the British Ghana Police Force, where people who did not have an opportunity can now have an opportunity to find a space uh, to make music and to celebrate this dear land of Ghana. I hope I haven't bored you too much, but I'm quite happy. Very much, Professor Cambridge. That was a sterling tour of the musical history of Guyana. This is a small taste of the book that's going to be published later on next year. So I guess when that book is out, we'll launch it and you'll get some more. But Professor Cambridge, thank you so much on behalf of Morehouse Trust. Thank you so much. This has been wonderful.